Kaga 9 was at South Tucson's Take Back the Night all day long today. The event was organized by Pima County Sexual Assault Response Team to provide resources and support to survivors. 9 on sides Perla Shaheen was there today and joins us now from the newsroom with more on what this team is doing to help. Hey, Perla. Hi, Heidi. Well, I'm wearing teal because the theme for this year's Take Back the Night event was the truth about teal. And that's meant to dispel the myths and tell the truth about sexual violence in our community. And I spoke with one sexual violence uh, survivor who shared her truth with the crowd there and now with you. I went to college and um, I'm Oh, this is like hard thing to talk about. Emily Dale was sexually assaulted in her first and last year of studying at the University of Arizona. You know, it's sad and nobody, you know, wants to hear that from somebody that they know or haven't interacted with, but it's it's affected way more women and men uh, than we think. According to the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network, one of every six women in the U.S. has been a victim of attempted or completed rape. That's why Dale decided to share her story at the sexual assault awareness event on Tuesday. Telling stories bonds people because people have similar experiences. So if we can talk about those without any judgment, like we can really create change. Pima County's sexual assault response team organizes this event every year in South Tucson. 23% of the city is Native American. <laughs> a group at the greatest risk of sexual violence. Come together every year and we work together to put this out, to help educate the public, to help spread awareness and, and to support survivors. Don Armstrong is a sexual assault survivor and the founder of Think Safe, an organization that teaches habits of awareness and self-defense tactics. It's one of 17 organizations that came to provide sexual assault resources and support. They're all working to lessen the prevalence of these crimes in our community. You live in a city, you walk on a street, you're harassed. I mean, um, and I've lived in a lot of big cities and it just, it was a part of life, but it shouldn't have to be a part of life. Armstrong usually does training for older adults in Tucson, but this summer she's gearing her trainings towards high school and college students. We'll have more on Think Safe trainings online and other resources to get help. Perla Shaheen, KGUN 9 on your side.